Well, now to our other top story. Very disturbing stuff here out of Texas. Tonight, nine people are dead, dozens more injured in what's being called a case of horrific human trafficking. Victims found inside an overheated tractor trailer, allegedly driven by a man with Bay Area ties. Now, at this hour, here's what we know about that suspected human trafficker. Federal agents have identified him as a Clearwater man, James Matthew Bradley Jr. Right now, the 60-year-old is being held in federal custody and is expected to go before a judge tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, tonight, we're learning more about the victims at the center of this very disturbing case. It was late Saturday night at a San Antonio, Texas Walmart when someone who appeared disoriented approached an employee asking for water. A short time later, the police were called to a tractor trailer in the parking lot. We arrived on the scene and found uh, eight people dead in the back of that trailer. One more later died. In all, 39 people inside the truck. In addition to fatalities, many of them were in extremely critical or serious condition. Two of the injured described as, quote, school age. On Saturday, temperatures in San Antonio exceeded 100 degrees. Authorities say the truck's air conditioning did not work. Uh, again, they were very hot to the touch, so these people were in that trailer without any signs of any type of water, so you're looking at a lot of a heat stroke, a lot of dehydration. Some inside the trailer ran into nearby woods. Investigators have not revealed the nationality of the victims, but they do believe this is a case of human smuggling. Uh, checking the video from the, from the store, we found that uh, there were a number of vehicles that came in and picked up a lot of the folks that were in that trailer that survived the trip. While authorities continue their investigation, San Antonio came together tonight to mourn the victims and call for immigration reform. By the way, those victims will be treated and then turned over to Immigration and Customs Enforcement.